Hello everyone, this is Steve from Stormy Sky Real Productions. We had numerous comments about the, my gloves that were used in the photo bombing of my own video a couple days ago uh, on the CN stack train with the air repeater car on the rear end as a thumbnail. And uh, I'd like to clarify a lot of the comments now by a little demonstration about the gloves that were seen in the photo bombing video. <coughs> Here we have the gloves that were used. I purchased them at a local sporting goods store a few years ago. And they're nice, warm gloves. So here we have the mitten style part of the glove, which then has two magnets on each end. This magnet here and this magnet there. So then I'm gonna pull them that back and you'll see the fingertips appear. So then we'll put this one on too. <clears throat> we'll pull that one back and there we go they're locked in place by the magnets so then we have the fingertips that are exposed <clears throat> so when you're getting ready to hunt fish or whatever you're doing taking pictures video outdoors in the elements then when you have these pulled back and it's easier to grip things uh, compared to just having the mittens on so then we're going to go over here and grab the camera that I was using that day. <laughs> and the finger fingertip uh, function on these gloves are real nice. You can actually turn the zoom really, really nice here. And then the shutter, you can just keep popping that away. No problem. Nothing gets in the way at all. Um, you can re really do a good job with these. You wouldn't think so, but, but they do a really good job. So then... I got these hand warmers, which I'm not going to open up, up now. Uh, they go right in the pouch here on this side. And then I got another pouch on this other side too. So you can stick one in here that, that way. And you can stick another one in here. So these gloves are very, very useful. No matter if you're outdoors hunting, fishing, or whatever. I highly recommend gloves like these. Now we did notice the last time we were at the sporting goods store, a few weeks ago to find uh, my wife Jenny a pair of gloves just like these that the, some of the finger uh, some of the gloves had the fingertips uh, that were visible so they had had them cut down here and your fingertips were visible I don't like that really personally because you freeze your fingertips right off so um, glad I bought these though it was really cold and windy that day so those are those gloves, and uh, here's what my wife purchased uh, a few weeks ago. <clears throat> Same type style. Hers has the fingers, though, that expose, uh, which it really doesn't matter with these two. I had really success with the, the finger not coming out as a mitten on mine. And the fingers come out of here like this, too. Um, and she's got the magnets on here too, right here, and then the pouch flips back and then stays there. So then you got the, a zipper on hers right here to put the pouch in for the uh, heater, uh, hand warmers uh, pouch. So then uh, that's about it. Uh, she likes the grippy style on here too. It works fine. So... Highly recommended gloves for anybody doing outdoor activities in the winter time, uh, especially if you have a, a problem with getting cold hands and so on. So, hope everybody uh, enjoys the video clip here and uh, learns a few tips. Uh, and please feel free to comment and uh, let me know if you guys got something else uh, that you guys do to keep warm during the winter. Uh, with doing whatever uh, please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already uh, hit that thumbs up and uh, feel free to comment and hopefully everybody enjoys this video and please share it around this is Steve from Stormy Sky Rail Productions out